This video is sponsored by Avail. Are you a HGV driver looking for a job? If so, then create and log into the Avail app and start looking for work. Want to know more? Then download the Avail app today. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my channel. My name is Luke. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Hopefully you are all okay. We are on our way to Honington. There's a sign there that says Honington. Uh, I think we're going slightly past it. We're actually delivering to a small, um, to a sawmill. I think it's called Blantfine or something. Blantfine Sawmill. It is literally right next to um, Honington Showground, where Devon Truck Show was last year. Um, literally right next to it. Let that truck out. Um, although this year, I believe they're moving them back to is it Smith Smith Have Stadium or something? I don't know what the, the name of it exactly. Um, but they're going back to the stadium, I think, where there's more space, more concrete. Because obviously there was a bit of issue last year, wasn't there, with, uh, with trucks getting in. Looking forward to that show this year. We're going with a few more mates as well than usual. So that's good. Um, but yeah, we are only uh, three miles away from our delivery point. And uh, we are fully loaded with timber. We got loaded yesterday um, at the port of Wisbeach, just around the corner from Peterborough. Um, not too far away from where Trucker Tim is based, actually. So uh, that was good. We're going to get into this lane because this lorry's taking ages to overtake and uh, I'm not in a rush. I'm going to get back in this lane, let the cars overtake me and uh, they, can, they can get behind that truck instead. <laughs> There's a hay lorry in front of us and on these A roads just now, it was going really slow on some of these hills, almost as if it was like spinning or underpowered or something. I know how that feels. I was in a daft not too long ago and that always spun going up hills very easily. Had no traction. But yeah, anyway, we're going to get this timber off. We've got some fence posts. We've got some like stake looking fence posts and we've got some actual fence panels as well by the looks of it. I'll show you the load when we get there. Um, I think we're using 12 straps in total from what I can remember. Obviously it was yesterday that I strapped it all up. But you'll see it all, you'll see it all when we get there. Managed to park up in Andover last night where I met up with uh, trucking around with Jono. So it's always good to see your friends. Uh, night time. Day time. Night time. Day time. <laughs> See if I can include a picture here. I went in his truck. <laughs> I won't spoil it, but I got a I got a little cameo at the end of one of his videos. So that'd be uh, that'd be fun to see that when that comes out. But yeah, it's all always good fun to uh, to see your mates unexpectedly. I was just in the group chat. I was like, yeah, I'm probably going to stop at Andover tonight. He said, oh, me too. So we we met up and had a little chat for a little while. Anyway, annoying that it's raining today because. I got the truck washed yesterday, <laughs> paid 35 quid out of my own money, got the truck washed, it needed it because I got loaded um, with rebar from, where was it, I can't remember what it's called now, oh, it's done my head in now, yeah it, ne it, it needed a wash because I got loaded from Baltic Wharf uh, distribution park and I got loaded with rebar and mate this particular rebar they put on was filthy, it was hanging had like really clay muddy dirt hanging from it on the bottom and once they'd taken it all off the bed was just covered in stuff like big rocks as well some of them big massive rocks clay clay sort of mud and it all seeped through and it got the truck absolutely minging so um it definitely needed a wash so i got it washed and now it's raining so that's that's typical that's typical anyway let's uh let's come off here I believe, yeah, we turn right on this road here. We're literally here now. We turn right and then we go under the overpass and then we take a right, oh, sorry, a left after the, uh, after we go under the overpass. 4.5 metre bridges, that's fine. We're not that tall. It's a bit of a blind bend, this, yeah. You start to go, then a car comes around the corner. It's all clear. No, never one come in. It's a very blind corner, that. Committed now, if anything comes, it's gonna have to slow down. No, nothing came. 
That was a, yeah, it was a bit of a blind one now. Right, we are literally delivering here on the left. We should start indicating the left. And we're gonna swing it into here. Swing it in. Now, yeah, Jono did say, because obviously, like I said, I met up with Jono yesterday and he did say you've got to go left around here. And there was a sign to say so, so that's good. Lovely. He said, come down here and then there's, uh, go speak to the office. All visitors, drivers must report to reception. Not a problem. You head straight round, mate. No worries. Thank you very much. So yeah, just take top road, head out to the car yard. Yeah, brilliant. Right. Cheers, buddy. Right, we've uh, been told to head on down. That's good. Nearly just tripped over. <laughs> Did you see that? Don't know if you would just call that or not. So, Jono's already told me what the crack is. Basically here is where I get tipped. I think, or no, down there I think is where I get tipped. In between those that fence there. Or oh, they might even tip me here, I don't know. I should really wait until they tell me where they want me. Yep, exactly what Jono said. Go right, reverse back. Cheers, Jono, if you're watching. I know that's what you said to do, but obviously you've still got to wait and be told, innit? <laughs> I'm just going to reverse back. Got someone coming over. I don't know whether he wants to be in a certain way or not. Oh, he wants to be a bit more forward. Lovely, thank you, mate. Yeah. Right, I'm going to go get these straps off and show you the load. Let's go. Okay, so here's the load. We're going to go take all these uh, straps off now and then we can um, get the. Uh, oh, sorry, we're going to take off all the ratchets and then we can take off all the straps. So let's go do that. So I just got a few more straps to take off. Or well, ratchets, I should say. Keep getting straps and ratchets mixed up. Start tipping us. Like I said earlier, that rebar we got loaded with, it's made, you can't quite see right now, it's made the trailer really muddy. Even though I brushed it, I swept it and got all the stones off and all the rocks, but it's left all the dirt behind. It's filthy, the trailer is. So hopefully, I think it's supposed to rain today, so hopefully it washes it all off. That's the hope anyway. <coughs> right, so, ratchets off. We're now gonna do the straps up. I still get asked to this day where I get this from. Just go on Amazon and search for strap binder. It's only a bit of plastic, it's not worth 20 quid, but, you know, it is a lifesaver, so I would happily pay 20 quid for one. My last one, not long as broken, I'd happily pay another 20 quid, because honestly, it saves so much time. Right, all the straps are off now, so I can quickly show you the load, so you've got a bit more of an understanding of what it is we've got on. So this is what I mean. So this is what I mean by fence posts. And uh, then we've also got fence panels. He's already taken some off. Uh, there are panels on the top as well. So yeah, panels and posts. And uh, I don't think we're going to be here too much longer. I am hoping to be home tonight because it's Thursday tonight uh, today, and I've been out all week. I've not been home, so I. <laughs> It would be nice to go home tonight. Otherwise I would have spent the whole week out. Never mind. But there she is, in all her glory. It's a nice looking truck. I really do like it. I think the company have done very well. Um, she stands out. It's clean-ish, but 
a bit of rainwater on it I need to give it a wipe over but if I do that it's just going to get dirty again because it's already raining look so it needs to stop raining so I can go over it again but yeah gravy baby once all these are off I don't actually know where we're going next I've already messaged my boss so I'm just waiting for a reply back now to find out where we're going from here we're in Honington so I don't know where he's going to send me from here no idea so let's wait and find out right we are tipped and we kind of know what we're doing next kind of know what I'm doing next in the sense that I know where I'm going but I don't know what I'm doing um, we were supposed to be going to Plymouth from here but it's literally just been cancelled apparently so um, we've just been told to go park up somewhere so there is an industrial estate five minutes up the road it's near MKM Building Supplies. I've delivered there before. It's not a lot of space, but it's some space. Um, so I'm going to go up the road five minutes, park up there, and hopefully we'll get a message sooner rather than later, later saying what we're doing. That van has just started reversing back as I'm coming past. I didn't see any reverse lights on until I got very close. I will be checking my dash cam footage later to see whether he was actually already reversing or not. Or did he just start reversing? Anyway, um, yeah, so we're going to go around the corner and um, wait for a message then from the boss to see, uh, to see what we're doing from there. But at the moment, as it stands right now, I've got absolutely no idea what we're doing. No idea. There's not really anywhere to park here. It's one of those places, it's quite a big place, but like, there's one way in, one way out, and it's single file, so I would just be blocking some people in the way, so I can't stay there. I don't think there's any laybys. I don't want to park on the road. Yeah, I don't. I don't think there's any laybys within the next two miles, which is when we'll be coming off. So um, yeah, we just we just come off at Honington, and then if we've got to come back this way, we've only done a couple of miles. So not the end of the world. I actually think we might be able to park. Is this a service station? Can trucks get in here? On the left, just around this corner on the left. Let's give it a go. Oh, can I see a truck? No, I can't. I don't see anything to say trucks can't come in here. Okay, it does look a little tight. I'm not sure if I can actually get back out of here, that's the problem. <coughs> While it's quiet, I'm just gonna just double check I can get round here. Otherwise I'm reversing out. Yeah, we're good. What I might do is reverse into one of these bays instead. And then I'm facing the right way to get back out. That is what my current thinking is. Yeah. So we're going to reverse into one of these bays and then we are facing them the right way to get back out. I don't know how long you get to park here for, but I'm hoping the boss isn't going to be more than two hours to find and somewhere for me to go. I just messed that up. <laughs> I 
That'd do. Hopefully I'm not in here too long. Got a toilet behind me as well if I want to go to the toilet. But I reckon I can just park here for a little while. Until I find out where I'm going from here. So, ease. I'll take it my uh, GoPro has just died a battery on the dash cam. So let's put that on charge while we're here, waiting. The Essential New Truckers Handbook is a book aimed at new drivers who want to become part of the industry. This book will guide you through what to expect in the industry via its 28 chapters and will help you understand important rules and regulations such as driver's hours, loading and unloading, manoeuvring and much more. This book also contains DVSA revision theory test questions and is a great read should you wish to gain some extra knowledge. The Essential New Truckers Handbook, updated and enlarged, available now. Link is in the description down below. Right, we have now been here for 45 minutes. We've got a full 45 minute break in, which is good. Oh, I bought these the other day, by well, yesterday. Oreo double cream. Not a big fan of Oreos, but I had one or two of these last night and they were really nice. Mmm. Hang on. Let me finish eating this. They're nice. <laughs> um, quite sickly, you wouldn't want more than one or two at a time. Anyway, yes, we've had a 45 minute break whilst here. I've just got a message from the boss. And he's, um, he said, head back to Swindon. It's a two and a half hour drive back to the yard. I would imagine somewhere en route, he'll redirect me and say, go to Tetbury or something, I would imagine, if I had to guess. If I had to guess, that would be what I was doing. But, I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, it seems that the job I was going to do has been cancelled, and I think that's thrown a spanner in the works. So, back to Swindon from here. It's actually, it hasn't cost me any time because I did, um, what am I on now, driving-wise? I think I'm on two hours and 20 minutes of driving. Can't see because my steering wheel is turned. Let me get my steering wheel turned and then I can check some stats. I think I'm on two hours and 20 minutes of driving. Yeah, 2.17 I'm on. Um, and we're two hours and 24 minutes away from our yard, which would mean if I went straight back to Swindon, I'd need to stop for a 45 minute break on the way. So, stopping for a 45 minute break there hasn't actually cost me any time whatsoever because I needed a 45 minute break one way or the other. So, yeah, no problem. Um, I do worry though for this video now because if I'm getting loaded at Tetbury, I mean, I ain't gonna be there until half 12, half past one. It might be able to get it off, depends if it's local or it might be a case that I've got to drive somewhere and, and do another night out, which is, I was saying earlier, it'd be nice if I was home tonight. Otherwise I would have been out all week, but that is the industry, unfortunately. It doesn't always go to plan. Oh, I need to stop for fuel as well on the way on the way back. I've got just over a quarter of a tank, so yes, I will need to stop for fuel. Anyway, I'm gonna crack on, see what we can uh, find out, and I'll let you know what happens. <laughs> see you in a bit. Right, we have an idea of what we're doing. We are going to Tetbury, as I thought. We are two hours away from Tetbury still. We've only been driving 16 minutes, actually. Um, Tetbury's a little bit closer than, than what the yard would have been. Um, so, we're going to head to Tetbury. We should be there for 10 past 12, give or take. Um, that would then put us on around about 2 hours and 15 minutes of driving by the time we get there. Um, just trying to think. Yeah, we should, we should have enough time to get to Tetbury, get loaded, and then go to where we've got to go. We've got to go to Windlesham. Um, and the only place I can think of in Windlesham that I go to quite regularly from Tetbury is Crocus. Been there a few times. I know the guys, well, some of the guys there watch my videos. It's the one where the forklift, they, load, they unload you with like little green ones and they sometimes if it's too heavy, <laughs> they go up. So that's where we're going. I'm pretty sure we're going to Crocus, which is also good news because that will mean that it's all pallets as well, which means we've not got to mess around with nets. And I am hoping it's about four hours from here to Tetbury to Crocus, plus let's say an hour loading. So we're talking five hours from now. It's quarter past 10, 11, 12, one, two, 
quarter past three. I'm hoping we can get to Crocus for about quarter past three. So let's just say between three and half three. Fingers crossed. But that's that's whether we need to, well, assuming we don't need to stop for any breaks. So we might be able to get 15 in at Tetbury. We might have to stop for half an hour on the way to Crocus, which means we might end up getting there more like four o'clock, which I'm assuming will be the cutoff. So we are on the edge. It's one of them days where we are on the edge. Now, I know what you're thinking. Well, some people will be like, why are you bothering yourself thinking about this? Why are you worrying? I'm not worrying. It's not worrying. It's just preparing. That's what I call it. I like to plan my day. And nine out of ten times, I am correct with my timings. It's, you know, it's just how I am. You, you could argue it's minor autism, <laughs> but I don't think I've got autism. But I just, I like, I like to plan. I, I don't like not knowing where I'm going, which is really weird because, on a day-to-day basis, I go somewhere I don't know where I'm going. But when I find out where I'm going, I Google it, I research it, I plan the route. Luckily, I know where I'm going. I know where Tetbury is, I know where Crocus is, so that's fine. So, anxiety levels are low, but sometimes I get quite anxious. I think it's perfectly normal to be anxious in this industry, in this particular job. You know, your blood level could could rise, your heart rate and all that. So, <clears throat> I think that's normal. But, um, yeah, I just like to plan. I always plan. And that's my top tip to anyone who wants to join the industry. Always plan your route, always always know what road you're going on and i'm not saying have a plan b but it'd be nice if you obviously knew some additional routes to get there don't be reliant on your sat nav there's there's too many drivers that just rely on their sat nav to get you places mine died right now i reckon i could get to tetbury and then get to crocus without a sat nav so that's what i'm trying to say <laughs> anyway i'm gonna crack on uh, i'm yabbering on a bit too much and um, i probably see you when we're in Tetbury um, when we've got some straps thrown over or something. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, we are in Tetbury now. We've got our paperwork. It is all pallets, 24 pallets we got. So that's good. I'll keep hold of that. Give this to the loader when, when he comes over. And uh, yes, we are going to Crocus. So as I thought, Windlesham, Crocus. Lovely jubbly. If we were to leave right now, we'd be there at 10 past two. Obviously we need to get loaded. I also need to stop and get fuel. So we are probably talking just past three o'clock. I would have thought, but we'll see. Just been told as well that some of them are small pallets, which is good because sound might sound silly, but it means I can use my, my smaller straps, which then means um, there's less to roll up, which makes it even quicker to load. So. Happy days. Anyway, let's get this loaded. Let's get this strapped up. Let's go. Right, we are loaded. We've just got to go and get weighed off now. Give our security tag back. We um, we get one of these every time we come in. Basically, so we don't get run over by forklifts. But uh. Yeah, so that's what we got. We've got 23 pallets. Let's go give this in and then we'll make a move. So yeah, that's what we got on. Let's make our way to uh, where we gotta go. So we've gotta, we've gotta stop for fuel on the way. But I am hoping we can get there for three o'clock. So, not too shabby. Let's get a move on, I'll see you in a bit. Okay. Okay, we've stopped for some fuel. 20 white memory services we're going to fill it right up we're quite low i think we're going to probably put at least 370 liters in i think maybe 380. Uh, we go 370 we'll, we'll see i said 380 then i've changed to 370 should have went up it's 390. okay we are on uh the last stretch mile and a half away from the delivery point just waiting for this roundabout to be clear all clear. Never been to that garden centre. We delivered to a lot of garden centres, but I've never been in that one. Not that I can remember anyway. But we're going to crack on down here for about half a mile or so, I think it is. Maybe a mile. And then, uh, then we take a left-hand turn. The weather has decided it's going to rain, which is annoying. I'm going to have to get wet now. Might have to put my waterproof coat on. 
before I go out. It'd be one of those occasions, I think, where I try and get my straps off as quickly as possible and jump straight back in the truck. I won't be hanging about outside the truck filming, that's for sure, because it's just, yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit wet out and I don't want to get absolutely soaking wet. Right, 400 yards. I tend to get the turning wrong. I think there's a turning just before it and I always think it's that one, but it's not, it's the one after. Starting to get now. Yeah, so there's a turning here for Hillier, but it's not Hillier, it's the one after. That's a, that's a garden centre as well, isn't it, Hillier? Again, I haven't delivered to that one either. Go around here. I was indicating left there, and as I started indicating a left, a car just went to overtake me, but I needed to move over to, uh, to make that left turn. I saw it, moved over, and uh, stopped him from doing it, but never mind. Yeah, there's a garden centre over there. Not delivered to that one either. Lots of puddles. I will not be parking in the puddles. Right, I'm just gonna plonk it here. And uh, that window is gonna be done up as well, just in case it does start to rain in this direction and get everything wet inside. <laughs> um, right, yeah, let's go and unstrap and uh, Fingers crossed they take this off. I want my waterproof jacket. There we go. Because I'm going to get wet otherwise. Well, I'll see you in a bit. Right, we are being tipped. We're being tipped by two people actually. So I don't think we're going to be very long. Which is good. It is indeed raining out there which is not good. So that can go up there. Whoa. One of them just moved a pallet while I was standing up and it shut the whole cab. Um, so yeah, we're just waiting to find out now where we're going from here because I don't actually know. And um, yeah, once we know where we're going, we'll um, put in the salad. I'm hoping, I'm hoping it's going home from here. He did say, if I turned up 20 minutes later, they wouldn't have tipped me. He said the cut off is our bus three. Uh, he also said they wouldn't expect it until tomorrow. So yeah, it says here, delivery date, the 1st of March. <laughs> that is tomorrow, I think. So they weren't expecting it today. So I got asked to tip it today and they weren't even expecting it until tomorrow. So never mind. Um, so yeah get this tipped off and then um, we'll start making a move somewhere wherever that is but I'll let you know as soon as I know right uh, we're going back to the sawmill from here get loaded ready for Silverstone in the morning so uh, that would be that will be home tonight um, which is good got to go to the sawmill I don't think we're going to get there till half past five get loaded and then crack on back to the yard hopefully be home half six quarter seven so it will be a late one but at least we're home at least we're home and then an early start in the morning. We're just waiting for them to come over and sign my paperwork, things to come over. <laughs> there we go. Something signed? There we go. Uh, I'll see if I can get down there. Or, you, or you, if you go to the road, it's no problem. Yeah, okay. There we go, that's for you. That's for me. Some, some, some come to uh, change. Uh... Yeah, change over. Yeah. yeah. All right, mate, no worries. No Thank you, have a good day. Right, so, I just asked if we could stay here and have a break, but he said no, I've got to move, so. Let's move. Let's go to switch the GoPros. So we're just gonna go back a little bit so we can get out. And then he said, I can have a break on the road. <laughs> I'm gonna assume he means this bit of road here and not the main road. I can't stop on the main road. But then also this is not the widest which is annoying. 
need a break, need a break. I had to come all the way here because, um, well, if I had a break before I come here, they wouldn't have tipped me like So it's a good job I did come here. Unfortunately, it means now I need a break. I reckon stop here. Well, I reckon I can get away with stopping here for a little bit, I think. Yeah. I think a lorry can get past. We only need half an hour. Should be right. Hopefully. If not, we'll have to move again, but... Hopefully it won't come to that. <laughs> So we're causing a bit of traffic now. I think everyone, like I said earlier, um, they said they would be going at quarter two. Right. Yeah, you're right, mate. Just got a truck just decided to park in front of me, which is now causing chaos. So. <laughs> That truck's now decided to park there. Everyone is now leaving as well, so everyone's trying to get past. I need six more minutes. Yeah, he was giving me a dirty look. Sorry. Thing is, what they don't understand is that I've actually been parked here for 24 minutes. That lorry's only just turned up parked there and put his hazards on. If he didn't park there and just went on in, none of this would have happened, so. I've got two options. I can carry, I can move, reset my brake, and I've got to take another 30 minutes. Or I can just sit tight for six minutes. Six minutes. The trouble is, if I move and reset my brake, then it's gonna put what time I get to the next destination half an hour later. <sighs> We're nearly there. Five minutes. Right, we're on 29 minutes. It's just about to kick over to 30 minutes and then we shall be off. Is my microphone still on? It is. I'm not going to use any GoPro footage um, for when we leave because it's extra effort syncing it up on a Saturday. Just turning off my microphones. Uh, oh, we have 30 minutes now. Oh, it was on there. 30 minutes. There we go. So we're going to crack on now and uh, get out of here before we upset anyone else. You either at the sawmill or at the yard, one or the other. See you in a bit. Right, got a dirty face because I'm doing the straps up in there, being squeezed and uh, squirting at me. <laughs> anyway, we are loaded. This is the timber that we have. This is the timber that we are taking to Silverstone. Uh, I've come here and I've been loaded in like 10 minutes, so no time to film. Just finished strapping up. Now we're gonna go back to the yard. So I'll see you back in the yard. See you in a bit. Okay, that is it. We are back in the yard and um, we are done for the day. It's, uh, what time is it? Um, don't even know what time it is. It's quarter past six is what the time it is. Let's put our uh, shoes on. Oh, what a day. Let's close you up. And uh, let's lock her up. There we go. Yes, I um, take my keys home with me. So, um, someone, I can't remember who, one of my mates, they were surprised when I said I take my keys home with me. Just do. <laughs> There's spare keys in the unit. Um, we got keys to get in the unit if we need to. If the boss needs to move the truck while I'm at home, there's like three spare keys, I think. <laughs> so it's all good. I'm uh, totally okay to take the keys home with me. Anyway, let's uh, let's walk to the car. Oh. I'm here looking at my keys thinking, my car key's gone. I just remembered I bought a different car to work. <laughs> I was just looking at my keys and I was like, where's my car key gone? I remembered I got 
<laughs> I've bought the Mini to work because uh, my car had to have an MOT in service and it passed. So I had to bring the wife's car, which I bought for her. And here it is, the car I bought just for my wife. She wanted something small and nippy to walk around in, uh, to drive around in, sorry. So I bought her that. Nice little Mini. Pops and bangs as well, man. Although it is funny seeing a six foot three, 25 stone fat bloke <laughs> get into a mini car. But I can, I can fit. <laughs> We're in. We're in. I fit into the mini, don't you worry. I fit. Anyway, clutch down on this one. Oh, that sounded like I didn't want to start then. Anyway, we're in the car. I had to put the lights on. Is that it? Is that the inner light there is? Never mind. That's going to be it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Um, I've got no idea how long this particular video is going to be. We didn't do an awful lot of uh, deliveries. Well, we did one delivery. Then we sat at the service. And then we did collection, delivery, collection, that's what we did. But yeah man, thanks for watching, I do appreciate it, hopefully you've enjoyed it, I hope you all have a fantastic weekend, I'm going to try and get this video out Saturday, it's probably going to go live Sunday, Formula 1 starts this weekend as well, and I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that Lando Norris is going to win a race, come on Lando, let's win a race, anyway I'm going to go, <laughs> thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next video, bye.